This is a fountain. This is a man-made fountain. You've seen them before where they're two-tier, three-tier, and the water is trickling down. This particular fountain uh, was built early this spring. It was up and running in roughly um, end of May. It's been running ever since. You'll see there's very little contaminants uh, built on the walls. Again, we've been treating with fountain protector. Now, a lot of people will ask, geez, what's the difference between bird bath protector and fountain protector? And this is an enzymatic product. Enzymes love to foam. So in a fountain, I'm gonna have foaming if I'm using bird bath protector. If I were to put it in a bird bath, I have, I have stagnant water or still water, so I have no movement. Where in a fountain, I am going to get uh, foaming. This has a defoamer in it, so it doesn't allow, we will get a little foam in the very beginning. After a while, it'll dissipate several minutes and goes away. This particular fountain holds uh, roughly 15 gallons of water. This cap is good for about 10. I like to put in, a, in my fountain, I like to put at least roughly um, two capfuls in. And when again, this is gonna work the same principle and concept as in the bird bath. It's gonna work on that Teflon barrier to stop the organic microscopic matter from adhering to the rock, be it stone, be it ceramic, be it uh, porcelain, uh, be it whatever the surface of the, uh, the fountain is, that's what this product will work for. Does it happen overnight? No. We're not a chemical. Again, we're an enzymatic product, so it's going to take several weeks for this to build up that kind of that Teflon barrier, not only here in a fountain, but if we were working on a bird bath. Uh, this uh, particular fountain uh, has a reservoir at the bottom. Now, what we find with reservoirs after a period of time, if not being treated or being treated with other products and chemicals, will kind of give it an off gas. It kind of smells. Well, that's where you're getting that anaerobic bacteria. That's why you can walk up to a pond or a lake and it smells nice and earthy and well-adjusted. The pond we were at earlier uh, is a well-balanced ecosystem. It has a good aerobic smell. If we deal with the anaerobic, then what ends up happening is it's going to smell literally like a septic tank. And this particular pond has, uh, the fountain, excuse me, has that nice organic smell, kind of brings me out into the wilderness, into the country. And again, everybody likes rushing water. This uh, soothes you if you have a bad day at work. Come out, wash your pond, enjoy your pond. Uh, but that's the purpose of the fountain protector.